Hello guys, today in this video we will learn how to analyze the balance sheet based on trend analysis technique in Excel spreadsheet. So to do this, first we have to take the balance sheet data as a question. Okay, so here we can see that we have some years of balance sheet data. So based on this balance sheet data, we can, you know, analyze the trend of the balance sheet. Okay, so without spending more time, let's get started. Alright, here you can see that this is the, you know, questions area that I have just copied from C2 to C3, okay. And this is the, you know, calculations uh, area where we will, you know, calculate the percentage of the HS and equity and liabilities component, okay. So under the, uh, you know, trend analysis approach, the trend and the percentage can be calculated by simply dividing the value of current year divided by value of the base year into 100 to show the value into the percentage form okay so in this uh, you know uh, range of the year we have the base year is 2020 first okay the base year means the oldest one while the current year is you know the next year from the oldest one all right okay now before i start to calculate the percentage of all the component of assets and equity and liabilities first let me tell you that what is trend analysis so trend analysis means it is the process of identifying the trend of the financial positions whether the financial position is showing is in increasing in trend or decreasing in trend or sidewalk in trend okay so basically these three types of trend helps the organization to make the changes in the financial strategy okay all right so first here I'm going to start to calculate the percentage of all the component of assets and equity and liabilities for a different periods okay so first press the equal to sign and now let's click this one now press the divide sign from your keyboard and now click this one all right why I have selected these uh, two times because this is the current year and this is also the base year that's why this is you know selected by two times but before I, you know, press the enter key, we have to, you know, fix this cell. That is C7, which is showing in the denominator. Okay. And which is our base year. Because the base year will be, you know, carried forward to next year. All right. So for this, first, we have to, you know, fix the column. So press the dollar sign here. All right. And now press the enter key. And you can see, uh, we have uh, not, you know, used the value 100 in the formula why because we have already you know changed the format in this area from general to percentage that's why the value is showing into the percentage form okay if you don't know or if you have not you know changed the format you can change from this drop down list okay you can see here and it shows the value up to the two decimal places all right now click here and just drag from here to right and you can see and if you will uh, double click on this uh, cell, you can see this current year divided by base year. All right. Similarly for here, you can see. All right. Now select this uh, range and drag down from here to here. Now just select this range from here to here and just press the delete sign from your keyboard to remove the error because there is no any SS item. All right. And now just, you know, remove the bold from this value. So press the control B and similarly select this range and remove the border by pressing the control B. All right. Now for total sales, we can, you know, simply calculate by so, uh, copy this range. So select this range first and press control C to copy it. Now click here and now press control B to paste it. And you can see the border has been removed because we have copied from uh, this range and this range don't have any, you know, top or bottom border. That's why this is showing like this. So for this first, uh, first let's you know bold this one. So press Ctrl B to bold it, and now let's add the border by using the keyboard shortcut key. So I'm going to use Alt S B D. You can see. All right. Now similarly for uh, you know equity and liability section, we can calculate same as this one. So I'm going to just select this range, okay, and now just copy by Ctrl C and just click here. Now press Ctrl B to paste it. All right. Now click here and. Uh, uh, double click on this sale value to you know confirm that whether our sale is appropriately selected or not you can see the both sale 
that is current year and base year sale is appropriately selected all right so press the tab all right now just select this range from here to here and just scroll down from here to here okay and now just remove this error by selecting and pressing the delete key from the keyboard and now let's make it bold okay all right and this is and now for this range just make it bold all right now for total equity and liability just select this range from here to here and now just copy it and now click here and now press ctrl v to paste it and press the ctrl v to bold it and now let's you know add the border so select this range and press the keyboard shortcut key so i'm going to use alt h v d and you can see all right you can see the total percentage in the total the our percentage is same all right so you can see that for this one okay you can see all right so we are successfully calculated the percentage of all the assets and equity and liabilities component okay and uh, based on this calculated value we can interpret the result so uh, you can see that in the year 2021 uh, all the uh, component of assets and equity and liabilities value showing in 100 percent why because the current year and base year both are same okay now from 2021 to 2026 you can see the values are showing in different uh, you know percentage okay so in the year 2022 you can see that the value of current assets is uh, you know increased by 220.60 percent from the base year you can see in the base year there were uh, the value uh, around 20 million where in the 2022 the value were 45 million that means there are increased by 220.60 percent in overall we can see that from uh, you know base year to you know 2026 you can see that the value is you know increase in 2022 while decrease in 23rd while increase again in 2024 again increase in 2025 and increase in 2026 also okay so what we can say that then the value of the current or the nature of the current assets is increasing in scale okay while you can see that uh, the liabilities liability is you know decrease in 2023 from the 2022 while while decrease again in the 2024 to from the 2023 and so on so what we can say that in our world uh, if you will compare from the base year the value of or the percentage of the current uh, liability is decreasing in scale which is very good for the organization okay so guys it's a very easy that's all for now thanks for watching this video if you find it useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you in the next video of this series signing out